hello guys welcome to coding cafe in this tutorial we will uh, gonna to uh, create a function that check if the user email or password is in our database or not and after if it's in our database then we will just log them in so we will say that public function and we will name this function as user login okay user login and we will first include our connection.php class for the connection of the database so we will say uh, con.php and then we will create a query and we will say in this query that first we will prepare it and in here we will just say that select all from user all from users user is our table name in our database select all from users where user mail user mail will be equals to user mail okay and user password user password will be equals to user password user password and then we will just close this now we will execute it so we will just say req req can be now execute e x e c u t e execute we will create an array and in this array i'll just close this rule here okay so in this array we will check the user email and password so we will just say user mail will be equals to this get user mail okay we will get their email and then their password the user password will be equals to okay like this so now we will just say if we will in this uh, if else if in this f statement we will just check all our table for that email and password which users logged login submitted so if it is not correct or not find in our table so we will just give them an error and we will just say that email and password is incorrect okay so we will send them again in index.php to check their email and password and then try again so we will just say error will be equals to one okay and just close this and we will return R E T U R return false. So it means that uh, the user email and password which he submit is not correct. And if it's correct, then we will say else while we'll just create an while and just say that data we create that data variable and we will just say that fetch it we will just set user id if it's correct then we will just do this if the user email and password is just correct so we will just do this okay 
and username you will check the username ok after the username what we have uh, user password yes set user password ok This will be set user mail. Okay, so data and then and close that. And if it's their email and password, just uh, equals to our email, our email and password in our table then we will send them in our home page so we will create this home page later so we will just now location it in our home page home.php okay in this home page we will have our messaging system to message each other then we will return true so now guys we will create a new page and we will name it as user logged in user login dot php so using <coughs> this page we will save user email and password and check it in our uh, email and password which will we have in our table so if it's right then we will go further in our home then we will send them in our home page so Let's save it as user login dot php. Okay. So we will add php tag and we will say that session. We will start session from here. And this session will go in our home page. So we will say include. So you will include classes.php and watch if if I set dollar underscore post and dollar underscore post we will just say that user mail login L O G I L user mail login. This goes this in this and I. <coughs> so we will just copy this first. Just type there ten. Just copy this from just copy this and paste it over here and just change this to user <coughs> password user password login okay and now just create and we ever there be name it as user and it will be our user we will just connect the type in our users class which we created in our classes I mean this one okay so we say users so if so now we will just check our users mail and password if it is correct or not okay. 
user mail login okay and just close that and we will just put this again and we will say set user password okay user password post and user password only password no user password login yes okay and we will just state over here that SHA1 okay and it will just close to there okay so now we will just say if user email and password is correct like this we will say user log in user login this is our function name in our in our classes dot php i mean this one look user login okay so over here we just name it as user login okay so user login if it is equal equals to true if their email and password is true then we will then we will equal it to our email and password and mail whatever in our database okay so we will just say like this is session user id will be equals to dollar user id user <coughs> our user variable okay so we will say that get user id get the user id and just copy this and paste it to time and then change this to user name and that one also to user name and this one's to user mail and there also to user mail so now we just will create our home page for just checking so home.php okay we will just h3 tag welcome okay so so now get back to our index.php page and after this uh, login uh, uh, so button we will just open up and php tag okay php tag then over here and uh, we will just say uh, uh, if our user email and password are wrong if they have any mistake in their email or in their password okay so we will uh, echo we will just echo out some text to check your email and password like this check this e double r o r error if it is an error so we will just say if it is an error so you will just oh if it has error in it so we will just create a tr in this tr we have a td and in this td we will create a span and we will style it and style we only have a color and we will color it red and we will just say that check your email or password okay so let's check out our login form and test it
so now just test our login form so we have our gmail uh, let's enter and wrong password let's see if that code will work or not so just check there look it just said it check your email or password which we enter over here like this one okay so now if we just refresh this okay and enter correct email and password so it says it's just comes to our home page see welcome we just figured your page welcome so in further videos we will just working on this home page in the next video so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel coding cafe